All right. Uh, I guess let's play some uh, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. It's been a while since I've played Final Fantasy VIII. I remember back in the uh, PlayStation 1 days, this was my favorite of the trio of Final Fantasies there. It's, uh, I guess let's be honest Squall and not, like, antagonistic Squall this time. like what if what do you do when you're bullied ignore them yeah sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you have to stand up sometimes you run away it doesn't seem like cypher is the kind of guy who would just take being ignored lying down
I think this playthrough I'm gonna focus on using Quistus more than usual. I, if I remember correctly, originally I never used her past like this tutorial part. As soon as I got enough party members to replace her, I did. I just really wasn't big on the whole non-upfront physical direct limit breaks. back in the day have like this cutscene that you can actually walk around in. Of course you didn't really see it for more than a few seconds there. But it never made you feel like control was out of your hands. now that I'm looking at the remastered version, it's a little weird seeing like the actual character models be higher resolution, but the background still being so blurry. I really wish somehow Square had kept the original artwork for all the background back, the backgrounds for uh, Seven, eight, nine. of the game. It's the main gimmick. Can I actually open the menu yet? I can. That's good. Oof. I wonder if this matters. Like, if the person in the middle gets targeted more often than the person's on the side. Some RPGs are like that. I usually like to have my main character up top, but now I'm, a, now I'm not sure. I'll leave him in the middle. When you equip them, they allow you to junction magic onto a character to increase their stats. Which is kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, the more stacks of a particular magic you have, the higher their stats. But if you use magic that is junctioned, then your stats get lowered. So this system kind of disincentivizes ever using magic. But I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to use magic. I'm going to have a magic-based character in this game. See how that works. What is the difference between spirit and speed?
Wait, this doesn't... Why do you stop like, attack and defense? <clears throat> no. No, that's not what I wanted. Stats. Here we go. No, that, that's the only thing? That, that's not information. Tell me what these things mean. Junction of GF then. Uh, Squall's not gonna be magic, so Junction Shiva. Yeah. Yeah. When has that ever happened in real life? You go up to talk to somebody and everybody else just walks away respectfully? Here we get a little bit, just a little bit of insight into Squall. He's not somebody who backs down from a challenge. He had a test, uh, like a practical exam, to go take this morning, but Cypher challenged him to a duel and is like, priorities, you gotta accept that duel. Alright, she's just telling us to do what we already did. Caring squall this game. Let's not be a dick. <clears throat> uh, I guess I said I was going to be nice. Access to the main function of the game, Triple Triad. Everything else is just a big side quest. where you actually start off at like a big hub area like this. I think every other Final Fantasy has been pretty linear at the start. Just like pathways. But no, you get like a big mini area to safely explore. Like a big town even. I guess Final Fantasy 4. Yeah, Final Fantasy 4 had a big town to start. Relatively big. Let's can just continue on this explanation.
interesting. Alright, let's just go explore the garden a little bit. I'm hoping to find some magic points to draw from before I go out. Pre-rendered backgrounds are so difficult to navigate sometimes. I thought I could run around that desk, but you can't. This is where we started the game. I think there's a magic draw point in the parking lot. And there's at least one in, like, the indoor monster area. I don't I don't know why you would have a monster area in a school that is surrounded by a big open field of monsters. No, I Stop, Stop following me. cycle to start with. Okay. Cypher's crew? Yeah. Is, is Cypher really on a disciplinary committee? Even though he's like an asshole? Interesting. Okay. in this thing. Committed to being a nice, honest squall, so I gotta hear this out. Alright, time to start the main game. Unfortunate. 
Good corner card. Let's go one more. Ooh, okay. We got stronger cards this time. side questing back to the main game. Let's go back to side questing. We gotta grind out our card levels. <laughs> I should have stopped with the marble. Does 
Does he have a giant poster thing of his necklace? Oh, that's like a case. That's a carrying case. That's probably what he uses to carry around his gun blade. Okay, that, that makes a little more sense, but I gotta say, it's real silly to have the emblem of your necklace. Have a... That's too much, Squall. That's too much. It's too much branding. find some draw points. I've found zero draw points. I feel like I've wasted my time and yours. I could have sworn, I could have sworn there were some more draw points scattered around the school. But it's been years since I've played this game, so who knows. That blue running shirt kid, I remember him having really good cards. But I am in no position to fight for them right now. Out of the way. Alright. If I remember correctly, there's like a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex here. As a random encounter. I don't want to do any random encounters right now. I just... I thought there was a draw point here. There might be. It might be farther in, but... Or maybe they don't spawn yet until I actually progress the story. I remember. Oh, there's a draw point. We got it. No one can draw. Are you... What? But we have a draw right here. If I need to... Here we go, okay. Draw magic. Oh, I can't do more than that. Okay, you're not a magic person. So that was the junctioning system. You allocate magic onto certain stats to raise your stats. But if I, as Squall, if I use a stack of Asuna, then my stats get lowered a little bit. 
so I am now disincentivized from ever using Asuna as long as it is junctioned. Which is a little... it's my only gripe about this game. It's too easy to make basic physical attacks really powerful, and there's not enough reason to actually use magic. I'm going to try to actually use magic this game. We're going to see how this works out. But not with Squall. No, I can't. Unfortunate. I'm actually using magic. I'm not sure if I actually want to be using GFs this game. Let's just start learning HP. Left-hand corner, I assume I'm activating, like, cheats. Okay, that's sprint. It's a fist. Is that, like, god mode or something? I don't know. I don't want it. First turn of um, every battle, drawing magic. And then 
and after the first turn, I'm just gonna battle normally. I don't want to sit here and grind draw for hours to get maximum stats of everything. for Squall's uh, R1. I haven't done any like grinding or anything. Let's just try to see if we can do it. I know, I think way back when I had this game on PS1, I would always draw a grind, uh, get maximum stacks and all the magic you can. And as a result, my GS would learn a bunch of stuff and I would get a bunch of levels. Then I would go in here and it would just be a cakewalk.
guy is really taking a beating. There it goes. But it's not like other bombs that get bigger and explode. Fast encounter, okay. Nice, we got some more. We'll make use of those pretty shortly. I think I'll go ahead and get one more. I've always liked in Final Fantasies, uh, the ones you actually have to fight the summons to actually get them. I think it gives you an opportunity to appreciate what they can do in the best case. It's like you respect their power because you actually fight them. And you know how hard they hit you, so now you get to use them against other people. It's I don't like it when they just give you the summons randomly. Like in uh, I think Final Fantasy IX. What do you got for me? And this is also another uh, aspect of this game. Bosses will have magic you can draw for them that are sometimes useful to use during the boss. I think later in the game, uh, there's a boss that you cause uh, that casts Earthquake but you can draw and cast float from the boss. So even if you don't have any floats, the game gives you all the tools you need to survive. So right now, this boss, you can, you can uh, draw cure from it. So even if I didn't have any ice magic or didn't have Shiva equipped, as long as I could draw, I can keep myself healed. <laughs> literally the first time I've ever cast magic in this game. Unimpressed, but we're gonna do it anyway.
do Shiva mul I, I can do Shiva multiple times? That seems a bit... Okay. Well... Let's draw and cast Cure on myself. Oh, and that's interesting. The GFs have their own HP, so while you're summoning them, bosses can, or enemies can hit you, and it subtracts from the GS HP instead of your own. And if the GS HP hits zero, your summon is cancelled. That's another interesting thing about this game. And it's, it's another layer of strategy. If you know a particular enemy is about to hit you with a huge hit, have all of your characters start summoning a GF and have the GF take your hit for you. Notice that uh, bosses do not give experience in this game. And that's important because it's possible to beat this game at level 1. Which I will not be doing. At least not this time. The low level playthroughs are always something I'd like to try, but I've never actually finished. I know Final Fantasy IX, I've got to disc three at level one, but I, there's a part of the game that I just could not pass. And 
honestly, using magic on Ifrit wasn't really that much of a boon. I know it's the beginning of the game and my magic stat is particularly low, but still, for an enemy that's weak to ice, using ice against it, you would expect a little bit more. Is this restocked? big flying one in the center for last, so we can draw a little bit of more magic. Although it is kicking the crap out of us.
上。Wall's limit break has a different finisher depending on the weapon. You have a break? Oh, I should have done it. I should cure. Curing sounds like a good idea. I do not have cure on Twisted. challenge out of some things. I'm gonna try to prevent that as I can. Like I was gonna heal myself, but I didn't have any heals, so didn't really have a choice. But under normal circumstance circumstances, I'm gonna try to not abuse that. Because it could just make some fights really, really easy. I think Quistus is about to leave my party for a while now. So I'm going to take all of her stuff. figured out how to skip the tutorials. Everyone can rejoice. I do want to junction all the GFs. All of the GFs. determines how much of certain magic you get. Is it like your magic stat or do some who are you? All right, back to the main game. Uh, I'm a little afraid of losing a freet.
gonna run out of cards and I won't have any to play with. I need to find like a real scrub. Just someone who's really bad at cards. And just steal all of theirs. Because these guys are just too good right now. I think that'll, that'll do it for episode one of this thing. I guess I'll pick up next time. See ya.